Today we got the ranch wagon set out on the floor, and basically I need to get everything off, the front end off, so get the thing cleaned out, and figure out an exact plan. And everything looks pretty square, you know? Weld up these panels, tailgate looks good, there's no rust on this thing. Hey man, even the chrome looks good. The wagon looks like it's really good shape. So hopefully it won't be uh, as big a deal to do the body work and we get it knocked out and get it running, get it going, get it sold. Oh, we got this special for you, Short Dog. For me? Yep. We know how much you like the lakes and the water, dog. The Short Dog is one of those dogs that doesn't really like water. You know, some dogs like water, some dogs don't like water. Short Dog does not like water. The Short Dog, you may want to drive this out to California and, and then you have your board with you. Right? Maybe not. Look at the chrome on this thing, Short Dog. Well, man. Uh, where's the fuel tank, Jose? What? Uh, uh... <laughs> Turns out, as we're doing our inventory, we're realizing there's a lot of stuff missing. Oh, yeah, we need to put a fuel tank in it, sort of. We need a couple seats for it. Um, we need a few little trim pieces and uh, some chrome items that go with the car. We don't have the tracks and all the mechanism for this thing to slide. See all this stuff right here? And that's an air box? Yeah, it's like a little tunnel that oh, it gives sure it air. Is, but see, it? the thing is, this well's got to accommodate the room for it. It's lower. So, I mean, we can't get this car any lower than that without clearance in it. Yeah. So. Man, that thing is right on top. It's right on top of the Both tire, man. Too. I mean, we can't leave this thing up in the air. That wouldn't be right, you know. It would not be right. Nothing looks good up in the air unless it's four-wheel drive. <laughs> I got my brother in town. He's going to help us get this thing tore down so I can evaluate what I'm going to do with the front fender wheels. In order to get air straight into the cabin of the car, they have this vent, and this would just come right in through the radiator. The faster you went, the cooler you So get. only the people in the front would feel it. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot going on, tons of stuff. Uh, my brother, Joe, is just so far behind right now that he needed help, and he asked me to come into town. What about the kids in the back? The kids in the back just suffered. My god, that is an annoying car to disassemble. Fortunately, Shorty gave me Manny to help me today. I guess in the early 50s, these ranch wagons were kind of like the minivan soccer mom vehicle of the day. It's a very delicate procedure, taking cars apart. You know, you throw the kids in, you go to the store, you, whatever you do. Hopefully, we can take that uncoolness out of it and put some cool back into it. Yeah. So you're really lucky you got one of those wagons that had the rear-facing seat. You remember those yeah, wagons? Yeah, I remember. That's what if fun. you got hit. You're... Yeah, well, they didn't care about that back then. It was survival of the fittest back then. We're kind of setting it up like a California surf car. Then again, it's Texas. There's no place really to surf. Hopefully, that won't deter anybody from wanting to bust out some green and buy the sink. Because regardless, surfboard or not, it's going to look pretty kick. Oh, you got it sketched up, Jose. Oh, yes, that's awesome, brother. What do you think, man? What's going on, bro? Jose's done penciled up the wagon. I left it black and white because I'm not sure what color yet. The wheels, and of course, the stance. Some of the body mod stuff shaved off. It's awesome, man. Man, I think, yeah, just get it down. Decided since we don't have our window track stuff, instead of trying to find it, just make a panel out of it and eliminate the glass. Make it a delivery wagon or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's, you know, if we're going to panel it up, mm -hmm. you know, you don't need a back seat. Yeah. You can just have like a van, you know? Yeah, that's a good idea. Sure, the two buckets look killer. Hell yeah. Right. Well, there it is, fellas. That's awesome. Well, that's my man. Man. That is killer something. The plan for the 53 wagon is going to be typical Martin Brothers style. The car's got to scrape the ground. Going to have a whole new air ride system on this thing fabbed up. Kata's going to whip up pretty wicked interior, and they're going to have a killer new paint job. My brother Jason's got a handle on the teardown of the wagon, which gave me a chance to get in the booth, finish up some projects. Come back into the shop, and I noticed my brother cutting on the ranch wagon. What the f man? You're all the racket and sparks flying and everything, and it's like, whoa, man, what you got going on here, boo? He's getting fender wells out, getting them to go higher so we could lower it down. No, 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 no. The second I leave the shop, all hell breaks loose in here. So you're thinking? I was thinking maybe something like fa fabricating a panel right here. And I want to see stuff like that going on. You know, a critical part of the car that has to be fabricated. Is that a bad idea? Or just bad execution? No, no, no. You know, that's the stuff that normally I like to handle. I like to engineer it myself. Well, here's what you need to do. You may have to take a little more when this drops so that doesn't 
because these things will tow in. So Jason's just cutting the wells out, so it wasn't a big deal. Ramp it like that, you know? Yeah. Might be a little trickier. All's good. He didn't tear anything up. But it'll be fine. Sometimes I just start in, and I get in trouble. <laughs> We need a gas tank for the ranch wagon. So I call our buddy Steve over at Rea Salvage, and turns out he's got what we need. So we're gonna head on over and pick it up. Oh, wow! Oh my gosh. So we pull in, and there's this uh, like monstrosity of a truck. Monster truck Tonka toy thing that's larger than life, like six foot wheels. New toy, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's his truck. Love this place. It never gets old. I know. Hey. Hey, welcome back. Thanks. Happy to come back, man. Uh, How you been? Pretty good. How about yourself? Good. I found something you were looking for. Oh, good. Yeah, that Perfect. gas tank. That gas tank, yes. Cool. Uh, come over here. I got it right back. Okay. Right awesome. Here. See if that'll work for you. I looked looked it over pretty good. It seemed pretty solid. No rust holes. We're basically going to be looking for dirt, grime, corrosion, any kind of buildup inside the tank. Inside's fairly clean. Yeah. Joe says it's a pain to clean up, so we'll check it out for him. It's surprisingly clean, to be honest. Sweet. Here comes the fun part. How about 50 bucks for it? <laughs> did you not already negotiate that? I didn't. <laughs> What's up, Jerry? You know, man. Today, my buddy Jeremy came by. Going, he does PDR, which is paintless dent repair. Check it out, man. This is the car I was telling you about. This 53 Ford wagon is really straight. It's pretty good shape. I brought the arsenal, man. But it had a few little spots in it. Man, if I could push them out, dude, that'd be awesome, man. No mud. Yeah. It'd be just that much less work I have to do. I don't have to put any Bondo on this car. You know, just makes it that much straighter. So. How about I go over the whole thing? Okay. See some stuff in the roof. And... Yeah, dude. Just do your thing, man. Perfect. Perfect. Man, I appreciate it. And then Shorty's going to chase me. Yeah, we're going to paint it, man, as soon as you're done, brother. Perfect. <laughs> no pressure. Hell yeah. Yeah, no pressure, huh? No pressure when Shorty's after you, man. <laughs> you know, Shorty's a perfectionist. He'll let you know if you get off track, and which is good. All I want is for that thing to look straight. Because if it doesn't look straight, I'm not happy. Sometimes it's frustrating, but it's always in the end, it's good. He's always right. Don't cut that corner, everything will be cool. I'm not nervous at all. 